What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard back with another Division 2 video. Today is Thursday, July 15th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. So over the last few weeks, I've been getting some messages asking me to put together a video on how to farm rogue agents in the open world. Now, as most of you know, they are random occurrences. However, I've found a few places that they do seem to spawn on a regular basis. Now, if you happen to be new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. We are going to jump right into it today, my friends. So the first location I'm showing you is in New York, right by the food bank safe house. Now, when you exit the safe house, if there's going to be a rogue agent in the area, you will immediately see that notification. Now, in this area, they are going to spawn in one of two places. You will either see them right when you walk out the door like we did here, or when you exit the building, you will make a left, go like 100 meters or whatever it is, and then you will see them on the right hand side. One thing I've heard from a lot of you out there is that the main reason you enjoy farming these rogue agents is due to the quality of loot that you're actually getting when you face them. Now keep in mind the quality is going to be dependent sometimes on the actual difficulty that you're playing. You can see here I'm running this on heroic difficulty with no directives and for me I mean here's a beast of a shotgun right there. I'm typically getting at least one god rolled or close to god rolled item each time I do face a rogue on heroic so again it's definitely worth your time. Who's this guy? I got a new friend look at that. So once again this happens to be the most consistent spot for me at least to find rogue agents in the open world. However as all of you know by now the main goal here is to try to help each other out in any way we can so if you have any other places you'd like to farm please let me know in the comment section down below. As I'm sure most of you know, another great place to farm for rogue agents is the summit. And what I typically do is this. I'll get to the summit, jump to the elevator, go up to whatever floor I'm on. And then if I don't see the actual indication that there is a rogue agent in the area, I return to the lobby and try it again. Now for me, in my experience doing this, I will usually run into a rogue agent after, let's say, three or four attempts if one doesn't show up. Now, uh, of course, it's all random. Sometimes it's the first time, sometimes it's the third or fourth or whatever. But again, they do seem to spawn on a regular basis when you're doing that. One thing I recommend, let's say if it's not working for you, I suggest logging out then logging back in. That could help as well. Now, one of the other benefits, in my opinion, of hitting up these rogue agents is the fact that they seem to drop named items on a regular basis. And not only that, but they also happen to be a really great way to pick up resources for optimizing your weapons and gear. Now you can see here I'm doing this on challenging difficulty and the loot that drops isn't as good as it was on heroic. However, I will get a named item after this is done. And one thing I wanna mention really quick to new and returning players is keep in mind that rogue agents can spawn on any difficulty whatsoever. So you're not going to run into them more on heroic than challenging or hard or normal. It doesn't matter, they can spawn anywhere at any Anytime. The next question I want to answer in regards to, you know, farming rogue agents is what type of a build do I use? So you can see here I'm using a skill build. It, it really depends on the difficulty and where I'm actually farming. I think on most of these I'm using a skill build, but I also have, you know, a Hunter's Fury Scorpio build that I'll use as well. The only thing that really matters in my opinion when it comes to what type of build you run is you want to have something equipped that you're comfortable with because keep in mind you know exactly what you're doing when you're farming. You're going after rogue agents so you want to make sure you're comfortable with what you're running so you have no issue taking them out regardless of the difficulty. The next farming method that I've had really good luck with has been control points. Now I happen to have two that I seem to find these guys on a regular basis on and those are Sleeping Giant as you can see here and also MLK Memorial Library. With that being said, I've also heard from a lot of you out there saying Navy Plaza is a great place, so is Toxic Alley. So again, my friends, any places you enjoy farming that you have good luck with, please let me know in the comment section down below. Now, one thing I like to suggest when you're farming control points, and once again, this is for new and returning players, is go to a control point that you're comfortable with. You know, I enjoy doing these because I know the layout really well. You have two great vantage points, so if they do show up, typically you're always ready. As I'm sure most of you know by now, oh, you know what? Another great place is Riverside Gas Station. I've seen them there a lot as well. But as most of you know in this game, everything seems to sometimes happen at once. You know, you're clearing a control point, you have a resource convoy, then rogue agents show up, and then there's an elite patrol. So again, you want to make sure you're in a spot where you know the surrounding area. 
Now I wanna make sure I mention before I finish the video that you can obviously farm missions as well. However, for me, I don't really see consistent missions where I seem to find rogue agents. I mean, I've had luck with Lincoln Memorial and a few others, but nothing on a regular basis. With that being said, my friends, I would love to hear from you if you have missions you like to farm and you see, you know, these rogue agents spawn on a regular basis. So once again, let me know in the comments section down below, we'll pass it along, and I think that's going to do it for this video. At this point, I'm going to let the rest of this thing play out. However, as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your amazing support of this channel. You guys are incredible. I love the community and family we're building here, and I sincerely appreciate your taking the time and watching the content. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well, but most importantly, Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Supply room access. Want to see what a farmer can do? Don't leave yourselves open.